Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing a short concept in community medicine and contraception that's called your Pearls Index. So Pearls Index, what is it? Basically, it's a method of evaluation of the efficacy of a, con a contraceptive method. So before we get into it, let's just read what the textbook has to say for it. So here we are in Park. And Park defines Pearl's Index as failures per 100 women years of exposure. Now, what is this 100 women years of exposure? Besides that, it says that it is total accidental pregnancies upon total months of exposure multiplied by 1200. Where does 1200 come from? So, let's go back to our working space and try to understand. Now, uh, just suppose we have this woman who was using a particular contraceptive method called A, okay? And she used it for a period of six months. Similarly, we had different women who were using this for different period of months, okay? Same contraceptive for different months. And now we want to evaluate by standardizing this contraceptive and its efficacy. Or in other ways, we can try to find its failure rates for a period which has been standardized into 100 years okay so if you want to standardize this into 100 years suppose this contraceptive a failed for x times during a period of six months okay this is an arbitrary example so for 100 years how many times would it fail what is the chances that it fails in 100 years so you'll have to divide x by six so if in six months it fails x times, in one month it fails x by six times. And now multiply it by a hundred years. Now because we were taking a denominator is in months, we have to multiply it in months again. So it will be 12 into 100, which is equal to 1200, right? So it's x by six into 1200. This number which comes out is y. So this contraceptive A will fail for a y times if it had been used for a period of 100 years consistently okay now let's go retrospective and try to analyze it again now if we have another woman who's using a contraceptive called b and it's y that means it's pearl index is equal to suppose 12. so what are the chances that during her reproductive age and all the uh, intercourses she goes through what are the chances that her intercourse is turned into a conception and the contraceptive B fails? So for that, what you're going to do is uh, just suppose this woman on the standard gets married at the age of 25 and she attains menopause at the age of 50. So this is a standard age group which you are supposed to have. And uh, so the 25 years should be in the reproductive age group and be, will be exposed to intercourse, right? And during this 25 periods, what are the chances that the B fails? So if in 100 years it fails Y times, it means 12 times, you'll have to divide it by 4. 25 years it will fail 12 by 4 times and that is equal to 3 times. So this is how you can compare different contraceptive methods and how many times it is likely to fail based on a standardized index called Pearl's Index. I hope it was easier to understand now. Let's go back to the textbook again. And that's what the textbook says. A failure rate of 100 per women year would mean that lifetime of the average women, about one fourth or 2.5 accidental pregnancies would result because this is for 100 years and she would be exposed to a fertile period for around 25 years. So divide this 10 by 4 and you get the accidental pregnancies or the failure rate of a particular contraceptive practically. Thank you.